Hey guys, it's Grace, and I am currently really losing my voice. I just came back from a winter retreat with my youth group, and I had so much fun, but I screamed and sang and danced a lot, and so my voice is very tired, and I'm about to do round two next week. So just pray for me, honestly, because I don't know how I'm going to make it through it. So there's this popular trend on YouTube going on right now, the assumptions, like reading people's assumptions about me, and I thought that would be really interesting to do, to just see what people assume about me without even knowing me, and I'm just going to be addressing them and like, telling you exactly how it is. And I'm going to be completely honest, and let's just see what people think about me. Someone said, you're a weirdo, and I feel like I'm not that weird, like I'm pretty normal, I feel like, so maybe like a little bit, I'm just like really a loud person and I like to be around people and I like having fun so um, if I have to do that if I have to be weird to do that like to have fun or to make people enjoy whatever we're doing then like I will be so uh yeah also I'm definitely weird so I don't know why I said I wasn't so the next one said you're actually the best friend anyone could ever ask for and you're always willing to talk um, I am definitely not the best friend, like, I have a lot of things to work on, but I am always willing to talk, and if I can help, I'd love to, and I try to help everyone I can. Someone said, you try to help a lot of people out at once. I agree, because I, I need to be there for people, because I wasn't there for people in the past, and that has, um, affected me in some harsh ways, and so, like, I want to be there for everybody that I can be. Um, and sometimes it draws me thin and it's not always a good thing how, how drawn out I am, but I know where my help comes from and that's from Jesus. And so like, if I need to show somebody else that I will 100% draw myself out then because I know that I 100% can get refilled because, uh, I have people that will pour into me and if no one else is going to pour into someone else then I, I will take responsibility and pour into them because I, no one should ever be alone. Someone said, you're quiet and you have a goofy profile picture. Love ya. Um, I'm really not that quiet. It's just, uh, yeah, sometimes I can be. If I have nothing to say then obviously I'm going to be quiet. So Someone said, you're too good for other guys. I don't really know what that means because I don't have a guy, um, but I'm really not too cool and I am really not that cool in general, so yeah. Someone else said, people have very high standards for you and a lot of opinions of you, P.S. you're amazing. People do set pretty high standards for me. I am in a high leadership role at my school and um, I am Christian and so people like assume that I'm perfect or blah 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 and that I should be perfect and I try to be but I can't always be like um I mean I'm human I do make mistakes but people do have a lot of opinions about me not always good not all of them are good for definitely but I, I try my best to be to be good and to uh meet those standards for people somebody said you seem like you're really nice have fun with the video um, I try to be really nice. I think I'm really nice. Someone said, you are very popular at school. I really don't think I'm that popular. I do know a lot of people because I've been attending the school since kindergarten. So I know a lot of people, but I have a lot of friends because I try to be nice to everybody. And I want, I love having friends and I think it's so important to surround yourself with people. Good people. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily consider myself popular. Um, someone said, you hate school. I don't actually hate school. I love school. I love my friends and being around people. I hate doing school, but I don't hate school itself. Somebody said, you have had a guy hurt you before, but now are happily taken. I am not taken. I have definitely had guys hurt me in the past. Uh, but that's for a whole other story. Someone said, you're way too beautiful to be human. I promise you I'm human and I'm really not that beautiful all the time. But Jesus tells me I'm beautiful and so I'm going to believe it. Someone said, definitely feel like a lot of guys want your attention. I could show you my Snapchat, my text right now 
definitely know guys have been trying to get my attention. So I don't really know what to tell you there other than you're wrong. <laughs> Someone said you're super easy to talk to. I try to be super easy to talk to, and I love talking to people. So if you ever need someone to talk to, you can DM me on Instagram. All my socials are always down below, and um, I love talking to people and getting to know new people. So I'd love to talk to you. Someone said you're a super nice person. You care and love everyone who crosses your path. I think that's true. I do care and love every single person that comes across my path and I try to and I try to show them Jesus' love because it's really his love that's working through me. Um, but I try to be a nice person like I said. Someone said you drop people when they change. And this is true in a sense. Like, I, if you're not going to push me to be stronger in my faith or not support me in being stronger than my faith, then I can't have you in my tight circle because in this point in my life that I need someone that's going to be like pushing me to be stronger in my faith and if you're not even going to support me, I can't be surrounding myself pe with people that aren't going to push me morally to do the things that align with the Bible and um, stuff like that. So um, if they change in a negative way, obviously I um, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I would drop them, but I slowly back out of their lives because I can't I can't surround myself with that um, I am definitely easily influenced and I know that about myself so I try to separate myself from the things that will not be good for me and the last one I got was I assume you have everything and that is absolutely not true in the sense of physical things. I do not have everything by any means. Um, everything that I do have I have worked really hard for or I got blessed with by my parents but spiritually I have I am full. I like emotionally like Jesus has really been blessing me this entire year with uh, people that have poured into me and um, I with Jesus I have everything I need so that's my video for this week. I hope you liked it. Leave some video suggestions in the comments below. I will be doing some of them next week, hopefully. If I have a voice, if not, then you'll get one of my pre-recorded videos from before Christmas. So, love that. But I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe and come back next Monday. I love you guys. Peace out. Have a blessed week.